Hello friends, how are you all? This is Nikita and uh, in this video I want to specifically talk about Elasticsearch in Pega. Uh, how, what are the difficulties you might be faced with uh, when using Elasticsearch and uh, how can you overcome them. So let's jump into the video. First of all, uh, how much uh, Elasticsearch is used in Pega? Uh, this is extensively used uh, for any uh, search like if you are searching any rule form here or if you are searching any work object, everything uses Elasticsearch at the back end. So these are fetched from there. So I uh, uh, wanted you to understand uh, where you have to go if you want to understand whether Elasticsearch is working or not. Sometimes uh, what happens is we try to search uh, something here and uh, nothing comes up. So at that scenario where you have to go to fix this issue. So at that scenario, you should go to configure, then go to system, go to settings and then search. This landing page uh, is very, very important. So here all the work happens, right? So you can see that search indexing is on and then you have three tabs here, default, dedicated and custom. So default is something which is used by Pega for uh, uh, re-indexing any uh, rules or any work object, right? So this is where the magic happens. So coming to rules, as you can see, there are number of documents and uh, there are indexing and all. So suppose um, I, I just want you to understand what you have to do in the scenario where your search is not working. Let me just uh, disable this all rules, refresh it and then try to search the product ID, which I was searching for before. Okay, so as you can see, nothing comes up. So you now know why it doesn't come up, right? So this is something which is causing it to bring it here. So let me switch on. Okay, and then refresh. It should work as usual. Yeah, it is working. So this is important uh, for you to understand uh, where your uh, rules and all uh, are getting indexed to. Same thing happens with the work object, data object. So suppose you have a work object, you have a case you want to search. So you can search it here and if it is not working, then you have to come to this landing page and check whether it is properly uh, done or not. Sometimes you might have to re-index uh, if something is wrong at the back end and then it will work as usual. Okay. Now coming to uh, Incremental indexing, how does it work? Uh, what I mean by incremental indexing is when you have uh, created some work object or when you create some new rules, then this new rules has to go to the elastic search and store it there so that it can be fetched in the next fetch. So for it to work, there is a queue processor which has been created by Pega and that queue processor has the responsibility to do the same. So as you can see, PYFTS incremental indexer. This is the queue processor responsible for this phenomenon. So again, if you see that uh, whatever you have created, a uh, new work object you have created, but you cannot find it in your search, then uh, you should look down in uh, the admin studio. You should go to the admin studio and check whether your queue processor is uh, working or not. So now I have, uh, see, I can see it is disabled. So I had disabled it for some checking so I can start it and then it will work. My incremental indexing will work as usual. So this was to let you know about uh, how is Elasticsearch working. Okay. Uh, in the next video, uh, we would uh, create uh, certain dedicated indexes and we will understand that uh, Suppose your uh, work object is not getting indexed or your data object is not getting indexed, then what can be the reason for those uh, scenarios? So that was all for this video. Uh, thank you again for watching this and keep tuned for the next video. Thanks.